Now I'm not sure, but I might have picked up an amazing quo bargain. My uncertainty uh, will be explained in just a moment. Um, but I was browsing around on Vinted recently. Now if you're not um, aware, Vinted is an online marketplace, uh, which is a bit like eBay, but more personal. And they initially started by selling clothes and things, which is why um, you put everything in your wardrobe. But eventually it kind of morphed to household items, uh, CDs, DVDs, old, old um, kids toys, you know, things along those lines. And I occasionally log into there looking for Quo related stuff and I saw a box set which I didn't have um, at what I thought was a bargain price. Now I'm uncertain because this um, said it was in satisfactory condition and I looked at the pictures and I thought that actually looks like good condition. Let me just break in here to correct something because the nature of this video means I can't go back and do it again. The original um, post said used in reasonable condition nice collection piece and the condition is listed as very good so I I am reading reasonable down there. I keep saying satisfactory. I guess it means the same thing. We will see. I mean, maybe there's like a tear on it or something. We're just going to have to find out. Can you guess what is in this package based on this shape? And if I say it was released, what, around 2001 and um, was quite sought after for a long time, and usually uh, these go for around sort of between 10 and 30 pounds. I'll tell you how much I paid when I get this package open. So here's the big reveal. It's this, status quo, rockers rolling, quo in time, 1972 to 2000. My dad had one of these and we were really excited when it came out because it had a lot of tracks on it which um, were mainly unreleased for a long time and things that had been on singles so it was a chance to get them here. Now since then a lot of those tracks have appeared in reissues of the original studio albums plus um, live reissues and, and BBC box sets and everything else but as a long-time collector of the Quo, I'm glad to get this in my collection. Now you'll recall a few seconds ago, um, the book's slipping out there, you'll recall a few seconds ago I said it, it um, was described as satisfactory condition. I think it might have said good condition in the little box above, but I'm sure they said something about satisfactory. Um, looking at this, I mean it looks in okay condition, there's maybe some dents along the spine there, but we've got the Vertigo label on there. This looks fairly shiny, maybe a few little dents and scratches. And we'll look at the CDs in a moment, but this is the booklet which came with it. Looks fairly, fairly okay to me, in good condition. And then here are the discs, disc 1, 72 to 76, 83 to 89, oh, 77 to 83, I'm playing them in the wrong order, 90 to 2000. Like I say, a lot of these tracks have been re-released elsewhere, but just a, it's a piece of quo uh, memorabilia history, isn't it? So it said here, the ultimate four disc Four CD box set covering the classic years, 69 tracks, 20 hit singles, 15 unreleased tracks at that time, and nine other rarities. Digitally remastered, 72 page booklet with many unseen photos and memorabilia, extensive sleeve notes and discography with a foreword by Francis Rossi and Rick Parfit. So this is the booklet they're talking about. 
And if I look in there, yep, yeah, there's the forward. So I would say um, that's in pretty good condition. Uh, considering this was released, what, 23 years ago. Now, here is the price that I paid for it. I said that this retailed, uh, still sold for between, I don't know, £10 and £30. I paid, I'm not doing any drum roll, no tension, around £3. Um, £3.50 with the extra protection that they put on Vinted, but I paid £3 plus around two fifty postage. So I paid about a fiver for it but that three pounds I actually tried to knock I actually tried to knock them down to two pounds which was a bit cheeky um considering that is immaculate I think I think so um yeah so do you have this box set um what did you make of it at the time is it still in pride of place in your collection um, I shall be playing some of these. There's a few tracks on here I don't have because some of them are now on the deluxe editions of the albums, which I don't have all of them. I've only got a couple, I think, Rockin' All Over the World and uh, Thirsty Work. But um, there are Rock Till You Drop B-sides on here, like Mysteries from the Ball, which weren't on uh, the mid-2000s reissue. So I shall be playing some of those in a little while yeah um let me know all your thoughts in the comments below subscribe for more quo related content um hoping to try and get stuff out on a weekly basis if not twice weekly and if you are interested in being interviewed do not hesitate to get in contact via social media or email quocast at outlook.com which is your favorite era of quo let me know in the comments below and I'll see you again for another episode of the Quocast.